Hey guys, what's up? So it's currently 7 o'clock. I am just still waiting here for my video to finish um, exporting. There's only two minutes left and then I gotta go and upload it onto YouTube and that takes another hour or so or however long it wants to take. But um, this is my first time uploading with this new Wi-Fi here at this house. So hopefully it goes quicker. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I just wanted to get on here. I did take my prenatal. I did take my prenatals earlier. So I just need to take my um, second pill of Provera and then my metformin. But I have a freaking headache and I don't know if it's from the keto or what but it is killing me let me show you guys my keto dinner that I made today it was so good we got some chicken fajitas some asparagus and avocado so they had to that shit was bomb. I murdered it. And then, um, I'm just drinking this ice drink. This one's the strawberry lemonade. And it's pretty good. But I am going to finish getting this uploaded. And then I am going to head upstairs and then take my day two Provera and metformin and then yeah i'll just show you guys that when i do it hey guys what's up so i just got into my other bedroom because i came to take off my my makeup because i look a hot mess but um i just wanted to get on here really quick and let you guys know that i'm going to be taking my day two of provera and i am also going to be taking my metformin so it's about 8.30 now. Um, my video is still uploading. Oh, my goodness. But um, it's about 8. Almost 8.30. It's about 8.20 right now. So I am going to take these pills. And then um, take off this makeup. And get that video uploaded for you guys. And I am going to go to bed. Hopefully. Because I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping lately. And I have like a really bad headache. I've been having a bad headache all day. So I don't know what the hell is the deal. But I'm going to take this now and then I will see you guys later. Hey guys, what's up? So it is about 7 or so. I don't even know what time it is. But um, I just wanted to get on here really quick. I... I made... I just got done eating dinner. I had chicken buffalo strips and you guys they were so freaking bomb okay i made the keto ones so i made them out of chicharrones like the crumbs of the chicharrones i just like grinded them all up if you guys aren't familiar with those they're like pork skin chips well i made them with that and like i seasoned it and everything and i fried them up and then I put some buffalo hot sauce on it and you guys they were so freaking good like I am shook if I can eat keto like that then I think I'll be okay <laughs> but um I am about to take my face is like really flushed so don't mind it but I'm about to take um my Provera and my Metformin right now. Today is day three of the Provera. So I am going to take that now. And then, yeah, pretty much that's about it. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys. So I'll talk to you then. Ooh, I look like a hot mess. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is freaking freezing here in Vegas today. Like, it's so cold, the wind is blowing, and I'm cold. <laughs> but 
bed um i'm gonna get out of bed right now but today is a friday january 9th i believe and i am feeling good you guys like i am really feeling good i i don't know i'm gonna get up and weigh myself in a little bit as soon as i get off of here but i just wanted to let you guys know that i am feeling good and I don't feel like bloated and so far this is the end of the week for my first week of the keto diet and I've and I'm and I'm good basically but um today is gonna be day five of Provera I have a two more day well three more days including today of Provera um so far the metformin has been okay with me i don't know if it's because of the keto diet that i've been on so like the amount like the food that i take in is not affecting it like the metformin that much but um this morning i did i don't know if it was because of the food that i had last night i had like a burrito um a keto burrito <laughs> I don't know if it was because of that food or if it was because of the metformin, but I did wake up this morning with a really bad uh, stomach ache, like my stomach. It sounded like there was like a war going on down there. So <laughs> I don't know um, if it was the metformin or if it was the, the food that I just ate. But I, other, than, other than that, I am feeling good. I went to the bathroom and I'm not feeling it anymore, so I'm good with that. But everything has been good. No side effects from the Provera. The Provera. No side effects from the Provera that I know of. I haven't been feeling anything. I've been taking them at night, and then I end up going to sleep off of them. Well, I've been taking them at night, so I haven't been feeling much side effects, but I never really got too many side effects with Provera to begin with, so. So, yeah, but um, I will be taking day five tonight, and I will keep you guys updated. I'm going to go make some breakfast, and uh, we'll see what this day has in store for us, so I will talk to you guys then. Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to get on here really quick and let you guys know that I know I was feeling good earlier, but as the day went on, I literally started feeling like crap. I have been laying on this couch all day. Um, my head is pounding and with that headache, it's causing me to feel nauseous and I'm super, super, super fatigued. Like I just don't want to get up and do anything. I just want to be laying down and not moving I'm so tired but I don't know if the metformin is starting to kick in and my body is starting to get the feel of it or whatnot but I am definitely starting to feel something going on um I am definitely hitting the bathroom quite a bit more often and it has not been fun so I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm coming down with something, but I just, I'm not feeling it. I broke out right here too, so I'm breaking out. Don't mind that. Uh, uh, but yeah, you guys, that's how I'm feeling right now. I will be taking my day five of Provera tonight. So I will probably see you guys then. We'll see. But I will talk to you later. Hey guys. So I just wanted to jump on here really quick. I just took my day 7 of Provera. So that is the last day. 7 days. So let's hope and pray for my period to come so I will keep you guys posted and we'll see what happens hey guys what's up um happy Sunday I just wanted to get on here really quick I honestly am not feeling good but I wanted to get on here and film this for you guys because I'll probably be editing 
all of this and uploading it uh, onto here tomorrow. So I wanted to just fill you guys in. I wanted to film this uh, earlier, but we had friends out here visiting from California. And so we were a little bit busy this weekend with them. But um, I did want to get on here and let you guys know that I have officially started my period. And I am super excited. Um, as you guys know, I think the last time that I filmed on here was like f um, either the sixth day of my Prevera pill or maybe my last day. I don't exactly remember when I last spoke to you guys on here but um i did finish my provera i finished all seven days and um usually after my provera my period if you guys you know seen my last videos and just follow me that um usually the last day after the last day of my provera pill I usually don't start my period until about 11 to 12 days after my last pill. So that's when I'll start it. Um, this time, this time, my period came five days after my last pill, you guys, which to me is amazing. I'm just like, how did this even happen? Because I never get it that early. Like, when I have seen girls who tell me, yeah, like, I get my period, um, usually I get my, I get my period, like, five days after my last pill or three days after my last pill, and I'm always like, what the heck? Like, how come I don't get mine? Like, mine, mine literally takes two weeks for me to even start bleeding. So, the fact that this time around it took only five days, I am like shook, okay? Because it usually takes longer. But, um, I was super excited. So, Friday, all day Friday, I started, I was really busy because I was cleaning my house and getting it, you know, all ready for our guests to come and stay with us. So I was super busy, but I felt very um, bloated and just like, ugh. like, you know, and you just feel like nasty. And I felt like that, but I wasn't thinking of anything because like I said, I was busy. Okay, guys, sorry. My stand that my camera is on is just wobbly and it keeps like falling over. But anyways, as I was saying, so Friday... Um, after everything, like, settled down and our friends got here, um, I started feeling a little bit more, like, uh, like, nasty and, like, bloated. Like, I feel, I felt super bloated. And you know how I'm on the keto diet, so, um, I hadn't felt, felt like that in a while because I hadn't been eating bad. So, later on that evening, I went to the bathroom, and when I wiped, I noticed that I had, like, a little bit of a brown color. A little bit of brown color on the toilet paper. So, I was like, is my period coming, or what's going on here? Um, so, I was like, okay, well, let's just wait till later, and when I go to the bathroom again, and wipe and see what happens. So, later on that night... I went to the bathroom and I wiped again and I noticed that it was light pink and I was like oh for sure my period is coming and I think I had posted on my Instagram that I was already starting to spot and um, I was waiting to see uh, if the next day you know she was going to show full on. So yesterday, which was Saturday, I woke up and she was definitely here. So I was like, okay, perfect. Like officially we can call Saturday, uh, cycle day one. So yesterday, Saturday was cycle day one. 
um and today is cycle day two so starting tomorrow which is monday will be cycle day three and that is the day that i will start my letrozole medication i will be taking i think i'm taking four pills a day i can't remember i gotta look at my um my bottle but i just wanted to let you guys know that i will be starting letrozole tomorrow on cycle day three um today i haven't been feeling too good this morning i did wake up and i have been cramping literally all day and it is just like i'm cramping my flow is not super heavy i know like um the last time that i had it uh or the first time i can't remember but i know that i had a super heavy flow where i had to constantly be changing my tampon and all of that but um for now i i think it's like a pretty normal flow um i'm only day two so we'll see how tomorrow goes and so on but i will definitely keep you guys updated on all of that but um we'll see what happens but i am super excited the fact that um you know i got my period in five days after the last pill is just crazy to me and to be honest i feel like a little bit of it or a lot of it has to do with the keto diet that i've been on for two weeks now i think has definitely helped so i'm excited to continue this keto diet I won't lie, I kind of fell off a little bit this weekend because we had guests over and I just kind of fell off a little bit. So I got to get back on that and um, keep going. I just fell off a little bit. Okay, I will be back on it and full force come tomorrow. But um, I definitely want to keep it going because the fact that you know, my period came sooner than normal. I really think that that has a lot to do with it. So I, that just gives me like more motivation to keep on going with it. So I'm excited to continue it. And I'm hoping that this time it'll get me pregnant, but we'll see. Uh, so tomorrow, cycle day three, starting letrozole. That will be round three of letrozole. And I'm excited for it and I can't wait to see what happens. So I will keep you guys posted with all of that. But as far as this video goes, I'm going to end it here. AF has arrived. One thing down. Moving on to the next thing and we'll see what happens. So I will see you guys in my next video.